Amazon sellers or soon to be Amazon sellers in this video, I'm going to give you a full step-by-step -step walkthrough on Selleramp's brand new Chrome extension, Selleramp QVS, Selleramp Quick View Simplified and show you exactly how it's going to save you a ton of time and help you do product research much better this Q4 with Amazon Online Arbitrage. Also want to let you guys know that this Tuesday, October 1st at 7 p.m. Eastern, Warner and I are hosting a completely free Q4 live training. Make sure you head to the link in the description and get registered for the masterclass. We're giving away a ton of info we don't share anywhere else for free and a bunch of good Q4 and beginner sauce. So make sure you head to the link in the description and get registered for the free Q4 live masterclass, October 1st, 7 p.m. Eastern. Hope to see you there with us live and let's get right into the Selleramp QVS tutorial. All right, guys, I'm super excited to share with you guys Selleramp QVS, Selleramp Quick View Simplified. If you want to go ahead and get access to Selleramp Quick View Simplified, you just want to go to selleramp.com backslash QVS or take a look at the link in the description right here. But here we can see on that web page right here, Selleramp QVS, Quick View Simplified. What QVS is meant to do is easily show you all the product details right on the Amazon search page. So for example, we can see on an Amazon search page right here, we can quickly see if Amazon's on it, how many FBA sellers and FBM sellers are on a listing and the total offer count. That way you can really easily see whether or not a listing is FBM friendly. And we can see the ASIN, the BSR, as well as some of the different reviews and the dimensions for a specific product right here. We can see that's literally showing on the Amazon search page right here. So more and more the past few months, I've been getting into what's called leaf sourcing, which is utilizing the Amazon search page to go ahead and look for products because the Amazon search algorithm is so strong. So we can use that and search for products in a specific niche. And then we can go ahead and immediately see especially if we're not searching for a specific brand, whether or not a listing is most likely reseller friendly, taking a look at the offer count right here, right? So we can basically just see the ASIN, whether or not Amazon's selling it, the FBA and FBM sellers, the variations, the best sellers rank, as well as the first review right there. We can see all that goes into that right here. And then we take a look at how to actually go ahead and get QVS right here. We can see it's currently in beta, but you can go ahead and get access to it in the Google Chrome store, just using the link in the description. Let's head to an Amazon product page and take a look at QVS in action. All right, so I went ahead and searched for a brand called 32 Degrees that I've been seeing in a lot of people's storefronts, specifically right here. Sometimes you're gonna go ahead and utilize the Amazon search page to search specifically for a brand or specifically for a niche as well. And for example, taking a look and just plugging in 32 Degrees right here on the Amazon search page, now we can scroll down and see Selleramp QVS in action right here. And we can immediately see this listing. It looks like it's most likely going to be FBM friendly right here, right? So for example, if a listing is all FBA sellers, we're probably not going to be able to FBM that item. However, we can see in this case that this listing has six offers, three of them are FBA, three of them are FBM, and therefore we're probably are going to be able to FBM that item for Q4, right? And we can literally see just all the data right here. So say, for example, we wanted to search a specific specific niche like Thanksgiving products, for example, Thanksgiving plates, that's not necessarily searching for a specific brand, right? So therefore I need to identify what items I see here are going to most likely be reseller friendly. One of the main qualifiers for that is going to be three plus third party sellers, for example, right? So we can see the, this listing, Amazon's on, most likely just an Amazon dominated item. This listing, for example, only one seller most likely going to be private label. However, the more of these we look through, we can see this listing has three offers. We'd obviously have to verify if those are the brand, which in the, which case, if the brand's dominating listing, we probably want to avoid that. Just looking at the names of the sellers right there. We can go ahead and scroll down. We can see another similar example right here, four offers on, uh, on that one here. Then if you go deeper into the different listings and different pages, typically you are going to find some that work. So basically what I'm a big fan of QVS for is searching for specific procs, aka multiple listing examples, and then qualifying them from there. For example, we search like Nike black sportswear hoodie right here. We can go ahead and see that there's actually multiple listings for this specific product right here on Amazon, right? Like for example, this hoodie right here, right? We can take a look at it right there and we can take a look at it right here and we can go ahead and see all the data for that specific item right there as well. So make sure you guys go ahead and get access to the beta of Selleramp QVS. It's included with your Selleramp subscription. Just add the link in the description right there. It's gonna make leaf sourcing and just Amazon search page sourcing in general as well because you're gonna be using that all the time, especially when you're manual sourcing from a retailer 
copying and pasting it over. I'm gonna show you guys an example of that right now too. Say for example, we were doing manual sourcing on Kohl's for Cuddle Duds products, for example. I personally just like to go ahead and copy the title over here to Amazon. And now instead, what we used to have to do was when we would search this would be actually click into the listings and see how fast they sell, the sales rank, et cetera. But in this case, now QVS is gonna be able to tell us that quick and we can go ahead and qualify those items without actually clicking into the product right there, which is gonna save us a ton of time. So hope this video helps guys. We're super excited to share Selleram QVS with you. Make sure you go ahead and get on the public beta at the link in the description, selleramp.com backslash QVS backslash right there. Make sure to subscribe for more. Let me know any questions and I'll see you guys in the next one. Also hope to see you at the free Q4 live training, October 1st, 7 p.m. Eastern. And if you guys want more good free content, check out my full six hour free course right here. See you guys in the next one.